The Butt Secret Summit, where you at your motivation guy is back. I'm here to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips to make you guys the best Fortnite player you can possibly be, and also the best person you can possibly be. Because I want you to impact every relationship that comes your way, you know, from your family, your friends, different people that you may work with, go to school with, whatever. I want you guys to be legends, man, so you can do it. Keep your head up, stay positive. Ping. That's the word of the day, guys. And if you find yourself having a high ping, you might see yourself having trouble keeping up with the other players. You know, while getting low ping is highly recommended for anybody trying to go pro, it isn't always an option, right? Sometimes your location will affect this or even the internet plan that your household has. But let me say this, man. Do not be discouraged because today we're going to teach you how to play on high ping so you can be the best that you can be. But before we get started, it's time to get my favorite candy. Help me out, y'all. It's that bunch of crunch. Have you had it yet? It's great. And let's get this going. All right, so for the first thing that you need to understand is the exact nature of ping. All right, what is it? And like, how does it affect your game? Well, the best way to explain ping, guys, is when your device, such as a console or your PC, tries to tap into the internet at your home. It's gonna send information and receive information that keeps your connection stable. This also determines whether or not, you know, certain actions register as quickly as they can, such as switching weapons, shooting opponents, and building. So somebody like with very little ping can play Fortnite with their game's responsiveness being flawless, Meanwhile, a player with high ping might see a slight delay in their game due to the extra time it takes for the device to receive information from the server. All right, so one example of this would be a player with no ping being a fast builder because their connection allows them to be precise with their builds. Meanwhile, a player with high ping might try the same thing but miss their edits because the delay throws their timing off. More on that later though. Ultimately, you want your ping to be zero. However, a low ping is usually less than 30. However, some players find themselves going from 30 to 60 all of a sudden and that's really not good. So before we take a deep dive into playing with high ping, let's try to get that ping as low as it can go. For this, you might consider switching from Wi-Fi to Ethernet cable. All right, so this is gonna require you to use your Ethernet ports uh, on the back of your PC or console and connecting it directly to your router. This is the best way to really get the most stable internet connection, but you know it's also an option not everybody can do. So if you live alone, then odds are you can just simply reposition your router or device. However, in many cases, you might still be living with with your parents and the position of the router might not be something you get to decide. Luckily, there is a workaround for this and if you're willing to dish out a little bit of cash, you can get yourself a Powerline Ethernet adapter. So what this does is turn any outlet into an Ethernet port. First, connect one end to an outlet near your router and connect it using the Ethernet cable. Once you're done with that, find an outlet near the device that you want to use and connect the second adapter to it. This is going to allow your connection to travel through the electricity and really can now connect an Ethernet cable directly into your device. This is going to help your connection be more stable and hopefully, you know, take some shave off of that ping that you're experiencing. If lowering your ping is still not doing the trick, then we have plenty of tips to adjust your playstyle as well. All right, training your aim is important. In fact, you know, it's even more important when you find yourself playing on high ping because there is a delay in your game that you need to make sure that every shot counts. I mean, you can train your aim by playing 1v1s as well as Raider maps on creative. Just keep in mind that creative usually really gives you less ping than battle royale. So whatever you're playing on will most likely feel different once you switch over after training. All right, so the SMG and the ADS rifle are two of the best weapons to use for high ping players. Why? Good question. Well, their rate of fire and accuracy allow you to dish out plenty of damage in very little time. And so when you're playing on high ping, it could sometimes be frustrating to land the perfect headshot with a sniper or consistently hit with the ranger rifle. This just gives your opponent more time to counterattack and take you down. So instead, guys, the rate of fire of the SMG and the ADS rifle means that you need to spend less time tracking your opponent and you can get decent damage as long as your aim is true. All right, so if you still need an extra boost in aim training, then check out Aim Lab by clicking on the link below. This free program is going to allow you to track your statistics and keep track of what you need to improve on the most. With a variety of fully customizable courses, you're guaranteed to improve your aiming skills and a variety of different games such as Warzone, Valorant, and yours truly, Fortnite. Need more? All right, don't worry guys, we got you covered. Your motivation guy is here. Here we go. Because, you know, ping can affect your reaction time. It means you shouldn't be getting so close to other players. Luckily, you know, the shotguns aren't exactly like the best weapons to use in Chapter 3 Season 1's meta, so don't feel obligated to get super close just to use them. In fact, like just by keeping your distance, you're making the opponent's shotgun ineffective as well. So instead, just try like staying at least like one box away from other players, since this gives you guys more wiggle room to move around and you can keep an eye out on your opponent. So although it might be tempting to try to invade someone else's box by taking their walls, this becomes somewhat more difficult when your game is running slower. The same can be said when you're trying to keep your box to your 
yourself. Because of this, we recommend not boxing yourself in and definitely not trying to just jump inside someone else's box either. Like this is only gonna make things more difficult for you. Instead, try to engage in combat from a distance. Make the other player work harder and just try to be the one who sets the pace of the battle. All right, so players with the lowest pings are usually the fastest. This is because their game and connections are stable and they aren't getting any delays. You know, everything is happening in real time, right? This allows them to really have the most stability and precision when it comes to making edits and performing retakes or box fighting. So how does somebody with a high ping get around this obstacle? Another good question. Wow, you guys are so smart. Well, <laughs> you need to cut your speed, guys. Instead, just play for consistency, if even if it means just being slower. So to be consistent, you need to really just start making smart edits and just take your time to build rather than trying to achieve high speeds. We mentioned it before, but having a good aim and precision is going to help you guys do this right as long as you just edit smart and you won't have to worry as much about the delay. Essentially, if the internet connection is making you slower, you need to play at the pace of the connection rather than just work against it. So just make sure that every build you make has a purpose and as you come up with strategies to really take on enemies, you know, take your time. So what should be your objective when you're playing on high ping? Well, you should be playing for in game rather than getting cornered in the early game and eliminated. So the early game is like one of the most hectic moments for a Fortnite player. You know, opponents are landing left and right and they're just trying to eliminate other players in the area with limited weaponry and building mats, right? So if you have high ping, then you're gonna be in danger since you're gonna need a good reaction time to fend everybody off. So instead, just try to avoid that by just finding a landing spot with a low population. In chapter three, you have some options. So here's one right now, here we go. Toei Beach is a low key drop spot that isn't named on the map. It's close to the Joneses, but far away enough that you can land and feel less contested. It has plenty of chest spawns for you guys to gear up, but also has opportunities for you to collect guzzle juice and chug splash from the coolers. All right, so coolers are guaranteed spawns that you don't need to really worry about them not being there. You can also collect fish and harvest stone from the nearby beach and even use the nearby choppers for transportation when you're done setting up. Your next goal is going to be to make it to the end game. If possible, you could try to avoid any close range combat during the mid game. Like try taking players by surprise rather than just head on. This also means no W King guys. Like luckily we have said this before, SMGs and the ADS rifle are crazy precise weapons that can help players with high ping due to their rate of fire. And so if you do get into any fights, just take them on at a distance. During the end game, hopefully you're gonna have enough loot to really hold over and you know have a fully just stock Mac inventory. You know, there are less players around you and you're gonna be focusing on moving with the storm as well as avoiding other players. So it really becomes somewhat easier to manage. So the SMG this season is great for tearing down walls quickly. So if you do have low ping and you know you need to just avoid getting too close to your opponent, like use it to just punch through and just deal some damage. This is gonna put them on the run. Just make sure to keep an eye on the storm as well as you try to keep the high ground so you can just track your opponents better. All right, so the final tip, ladies and gentlemen, we have for you guys today is to go watch some pros. Pros such as Jelty or Mr. Savage have experience playing on high ping. You know, even Mr. Savage has played on 100 ping before and he's still considered like one of the best. This is very similar to what Vibe Reviewing does for you guys since you could just take notes of their actions and decisions during the match. And this is gonna give you guys a good idea of what you should be doing during your own games. And hopefully, man, you're gonna find yourself struggling less to make decisions and really just having a clear goal. This is a great way to build consistency and becoming a more calculated and methodical player. And so while you're at it, don't forget to check out Aim Lab after the videos. You can become the aim legend that you always wanted to be. And I believe you can, but you gotta believe it for yourself. Bunch of crust on me, where you at your motivation guy is back. That's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys, man, enjoyed all the tips and tricks that we gave you guys. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let us know if there's anything that you guys would be interested in learning more about. Just remember, because you have high ping doesn't mean you can't improve or even compete, all right? Just leave that out of your head. You can do it. And I'm telling you, I'm so proud of you guys. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.